Hey, in this video, I'm going to be talking about how to set up your Google My Business if you're an agent or an investor, and this is part two. Hey, welcome. This is uh, Paul Kim with K Mattis Marketing. And in this video, I'm going to go over the five key areas in your Google My Business that you really have to pay attention to. And in order for us to do that, we're going to go share my screen and let's get right into it. All right. In this case, I'm going to be uh, showing you one of uh, our accounts that we handle for another brokerage. And in this instance, it's Kosher Real Estate Group. Now, Understand that it's a brokerage and not an individual, but you, it's, it can be applicable to, um, as you can see, for example, I have Kosha and there's also Lisa Ortiz. Uh, she is an agent as well, but for the sake of uh, this uh, video, I'm gonna be showing you Kosha Real Estate Group. One thing I wanna point out to you is that if you, you see that red dot right there, that means that there's an update. That update means that either Google or a, another u, Google user has suggested a, an update or a, a revision to your account. And so you want to make sure you take um, that you look at that and make sure you if you want to apply that update or not. If you don't apply it, I think eventually it will get applied by Google. Make sure you keep updated on that uh, when you see that dot. Okay, so let's go into Kosher Real Estate Group. And I want to point out the five areas that we're going to focus on in this video. We're going to talk about uh, info, number one. Number two is posts. Number three is reviews. Number four is photos. And number five, finally, is insight. So let's go look into the info. And I'm not going to go over all of the sections, but I'm going to go over the key critical elements that you got to set up. Uh, you should fill out all of the information, but I'm going to talk about the five, a uh, couple of key critical elements, and that is the address. Make sure the address is the same as on what you have everywhere else, including your website. Um, service area, make sure that you put in all of your service areas. And then the other critical component is services. You want to make sure you put all of the services as it applies to your um, business if you're an agent investor depending on who you are so make sure you you apply all of the services and then lastly you want to put information about your business in this section right here which describes and try to be uh, very detailed and you know what makes you your you and your business unique from any other agents or investors out there so that's that is uh, those are the key elements that you really need to really focus on now let's look at post. The next area that we are going to focus on is photos. Now there are different kind of posts that you can post. There are uh, there's COVID nineteen due to what's going on right now with the COVID nineteen. There's offers, there is updates, there is events, and there's products. Now for most agents uh, and investors, most of the time it's going to be updates, and so you're posting. When um, in this case, what we're doing is we're posting articles that are posted from the website, and we're posting those articles uh, in terms of with the image and the link to the video, uh, the link to that article in here. Now you can post events. For example, let's say um, right here, we there's an open house for Kosha, and so what we'll do is we'll post a vi video. Sometimes we'll post. Uh, images and we'll put the link uh, and we actually put the time in here as you can see it's uh, there's a date here and so when you post an event they'll actually give you the start date and the end date here so you will put in uh, open house from certain time to certain time and you would do that um, now these posts that are being pushed out we do use a social media manager that pushes it out automatically but for certain things like adding events, we actually have to physically go into Google My Business account and actually physically post it from the Google Business account. All right, before we go to the next item, I wanted to share with you uh, an exciting bootcamp that I have on uh, in my website. It's a free three-day Google My Business bootcamp, and I have it on my website. The link to register is 
uh, below in the description. So go and register for that bootcamp. It's free. It's a three day. Goes into details on basically the things that I'm just uh, talking about, but I go over it uh, more in depth. All right. So the next item that we're going to cover is reviews. Now, this is where uh, reviews are is a critical element because reviews on Google My Business is SEO, um, uh, basically meaning that um, search engine optimization. So Google picks up on words and everything that is picked up on reviews. And so you want to make sure that when you get reviews, you ask your clients uh, when they write the reviews to you know elaborate on their experience, not just to put a five star, but elaborate. And then also make sure that you respond to those reviews and includes words that are SEO, uh, keep putting their certain keywords because it will help with SEO. All right, so next we're gonna talk about photos. Now with photos, there are various categories, as you can see here, it's uh, by owner, by customers. Um, so these are photos that are uploaded by the customer, I mean, by the owner. And then there are also, um, you know, customers can upload photos themselves as well. Um, and they have the ability to do that. There's also 360 if you, um, if you want to get a, a professional photographer or if you have a 360 camera, you can utilize those. And so one of the things is um, there's actually 360 video for Kosha, and so that got a lot of views. Um, you can also upload videos as well. You can upload interior, exterior, at work, team, and identity like logo. And so um, there are key elements that at a, at a minimum that you should put, that's definitely some sort of uh, a logo, team photo. Uh, you wanna take a couple of your exterior, couple of your interior photos, and then some photos of yourself as well, okay? So those are, uh, if you have a video, great. Um, if, you, if you did a listing video, I think it'd be great as well. So as you can see, um, you know, there's this video that was taken a long time ago and that had, you know, that was viewed 95,000 uh, times uh, according to here. Um, and as you can see, there's uh, a lot of photos that we uploaded with, uh, with this was recently uploaded and so uh, it's actually having a, a, a positive effect on, Google, on their Google My Business account. So the next item that we want to cover um, that is, is important to review, um, not only to look at, but also to analyze is uh, insights. And one of the things that we want to make sure is that as a result of what um, we are doing or what you're doing on your Google My Business, it is getting some attention or, or it's making an impact. And so um, I usually like to look at everything by the quarter or mo one month. And as you can see that this blue icon represents 75%, which is discovery. And so this is good because people are searching um, and finding you as a result of either category, product or services. Okay. And then this is um, your listings. Uh, in the quarter. So close to 9,000 views uh, or listings where customers have view your business on Google. And then this is another indication of um, good indication where people uh, have what actions they have taken from your Google My Business account, whether they have visited your website, requested directions. So on that, on your, on, on maps, um, there is a way to search uh, and actually get directions and a lot of people are using Google My Business uh, or uh, Google Maps. Uh, and so they can also find, um, they can also call you from that Google listing. And so one of the things you wanna make sure um, on, uh, on your Google My Business that your, the, 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 um, your business hour is, uh, is accurate uh, because you don't wanna find out that people uh, seeing if, uh, your business is open and only to go there and find out that it's closed. Uh, I have ha I have had that happen and it's very frustrating, okay? Um, but may not be applicable to uh, agents and investors because, um, you know, agents pretty much live on their off their phone, okay? All right, next one is uh, direction request. Now this basically shows where most people are 
finding you or coming from. Um, and so this uh, just shows as Persephone. Uh, Persephone. Okay. Uh, this gives you a, a breakdown of when and how many times customers call you during a, uh, this tells you time of the day, uh, and then this tells you quarter wise. And so as you can see that most phone calls are coming in at around three o'clock um, in the quarter. You could also look at it by the month. Um, and so that just kind of tells you where people uh, are calling. And then uh, what I like to make sure and I analyze is making sure that the business uh, that what uh, is going on with the current business is doing better than the rest. And so um, this is, you know, we're all competing uh, at the end of the day. And so we like, to, uh, we like to be on top. All right. So those are the five critical um, areas that you want to focus on your Google My Business. And when you do that, and when you optimize those areas, your Google My Business is going to start attracting and um, start generating traffic. And ultimately, if you have a website, it'll go, your traffic will go to your website. And lastly, before I go, make sure you sign up for the three-day GMB, Google My Business Bootcamp. It's free and it goes more in depth on what I talk about in this video, all right? So I hope this video was helpful. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to this channel and come back again and I'll see you next time. Bye now.